Hello, beautiful lady. Yes, I am talking to you. It is Thursday, and you know what goes down here on Thursday. Wife Life with Dr. Gail goes down here on Thursday. So do me a huge, huge favor. Make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and the little bell right next to it so you'll know when I go live. We're bringing sexy back. We're bringing sexy back. Let's get it started. Pardon, won't you give it up? And so tonight, I want to talk to you about 10 hot spots on her body. And I wanted to do this because I had given women 10 ways to drive him wow. And so I want to do this for the men because a lot of times as we get older and we get into the routine of things that we become so complacent when it comes to our sex lives and spicing things up. And so tonight I dove into my sexology group that I'm a part of and we were just talking about how when women age, how things change for us and that physical touch is something huge for us. And a lot of times we don't do a good job of redirecting our husbands to the places that make us feel the most sexy, the most sexual, the most sensual. And so tonight I want to talk about a few areas. Again, these are not something that are like mind blowing, but again, I'm going to give you a scale from zero to 10 that most women feel when you touch us in those areas. Not every woman, but most women, when you touch us in those areas, it gives us a sensation to make us want to sleep with you. Okay. So let's just start with the mouth and the lips. For most women, when you give us a sensual kiss, when you lick and play and suck our lips, that is like a 7.9 for us. So a lot of times we know that you guys want to go straight to penetration sex, but focus in on our lips. It is sexy to us. Okay. Now our ears, that is a little bit lower on the scale, but some women, it could be a 10, but most women who were polled, it's only a five. And so if that's your go-to spot and your wife hasn't told you that's what really sends her, you might want to maneuver a little less to the ears and focus a little bit more on her lips and her mouth, okay? The back of the neck for us women, most of the time is about a six. And again, I'm just giving you general women that were polled, but the back of our neck, it puts us at about six. And that's not a bad place to be on the scale. So if you want to massage our necks, kiss our necks, blow on our necks, I'm telling you, go for it because it is a sin. Now, our nipples, the nipples on our breasts, right? Those are a seven. And so that is really, really hot to us. So caress them, lick them, do all kind of things with them because, again, for us women, it is a seven, so that's pretty high on our sexual scale, okay? The lower back is only about a four. So yes, can you blow on it? Can you lick it? Can you kiss it? Can you massage it? But truth be told, for most women, it's only about a four on the scale. So my thing is, is if you're trying to lead and get us in a place where we're going to orgasm, try to stick with the ones that are kind of higher on the scale. I'm not saying that that's something that you shouldn't tend to. I'm just telling you that it's a lower on the scale. Now, when you get to our vaginas, and you would think that just tending to our vaginas would be a 10, but actually most women say it's just just about an eight. And I'm not saying that's low. That's really, really, really high. And that has to do with kissing, licking, all of those things that you can do when you're performing oral sex or you're using your fingers or you're using some kind of lube to massage. All of those things are very central to us. And so that is higher on the scale than let's say our lower back, right? But let me tell you where the sweet spot is. That is our clitoris. That reigns in as a 10. Because if you can get us where we are screaming for more when it concerns our clitoris and you're massaging it and you're doing, you're licking it and sucking it, let me just tell you that is a 10 because we are going to orgasm in some form or fashion. Okay? The inner thighs come in at a seven. 
which is high on the scale as well. So while you're massaging our vaginas and you are working your way to the clitoris, make sure that you kiss and lick our inner thighs because that's high too, right? Also, our breasts come in at a seven, which is amazing. So make sure that you massage them you kiss them and you show them some love while you're showing our nipples some love and some tender care, right? And also, let me just tell you this, the nape of our neck is something that is really, really, really sexy. Not just the back of our neck, but the nape of our neck is something that is really, really sexy and it comes in at a 7.5. Okay, so I pray that this teaching has opened your eyes to not just going to the main spots that you think that we want, but open you guys up to trying something new, to paying a little bit more attention to something that you normally would not pay attention to. And these um, hotness scales came from real women that really wanted you guys to understand what makes us tick and what our hot spots are. I love you guys to pieces. I am here every single Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will see you next week.